Hello everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to another Time for Two Little video, where I bring you new levels to try every once a week. Today's level is going to focus on a particular pilot who focuses on speed and close range damage, which makes him a threat against those that can't keep up, and is not viable for those that are thinking it. Today's pilot is called the Stim Bruiser, the hard hit and always in your face pilot. This pilot is first seen in Time for Assault, and is actually a pilot you can use on day one with the Striker pilot and the Grenadier pilot. He contributes by running to hard points and taking on most of the damage received, while dishing it back out again. And if he is successful with capturing a point, he regains some health back, and also gets an increase in his movement speed for a brief while, which can really help with capturing areas and catching hard points in the game. So generally, he's more of a hit and run pilot, a bit like Ronin. But anyways, let's take a look at the main loadout. Your pilot can either be the stim for the stim effect, or the A wall for the look. Since we can't change the look of the pilot to the like, Stim Bruiser in Type of Assault, I've given you two choices of how you want to go about this. If you choose the AWOL pilot, make sure you don't use your ability for the dugout since it isn't the same as the Stim Bruiser in game, or use it but give it to your team to use instead. In this case, I wanted the Stim pilot as it gave me the ability I need, and I can always say he got into an accident and decided to become a Simicum because of the injuries, since that's generally how most pilots become Simicums these days. Your primary will be the EVA 8 with extra ammo and type to kill. Your secondary will be the RE45 and your heavy will be the MGL. Your ordnance will be the Gladly Star to allow you to stop grunts and pilots in their track. And your boost can be dice roll to always keep it interesting and different within your playstyle, while you're also on the move. Your titan will be a customised North Star with twin terror traps and nuke jet for some bait and nuke tactics. And lastly, your pilot kit will be fast regen and low profile for a sneaky but always on the move build. Effectively, this whole build should focus just on your movement speed, your survivability, and allowing you to take out pilots in close range fights. Now this loadout will be perfect for a hard point in Type 2, as you can get an idea of best areas to capture and control. But since Type 2 population has gotten quite low, it means I'm limited on what games I can pick and play. And usually, trying to get a game in hard point is near impossible nowadays. So for the current being, I have to stick with what I currently know is populated. And for that, that's attrition which 9 out of 10 always works for me. The one thing I must say about this loadout is how I synergizes with the current setup provided, as with the stim ability it allows us to cover ground relatively quickly and close in on players that don't react quick enough, and with the EVA shotgun that is designed for close call fights, we can mow down potential players that challenge us. On top of that, activating our stim also allows us to recover our health, which fits in the same way the stim bruiser works in Type of Assault, so right here we can stay on the go and take on generally anyone as long as we understand the surrounding areas and know when to back out when things get bad. So generally like I said you're going to act kind of like a more squishy version of Ronin. You want to understand your area and you just generally want to do hit and run tactics. You don't want to stay in the area for too long as you tend to get killed quite easily. But if you follow how Ronin moves about and how he does quick amount of damage he can become a great threat on the battlefield if he isn't looked into. Now you do have health regen as well, that also helps with quickening your health recovery as a perk, but I don't believe it stacks with stim ability, but that shouldn't be much of an issue as you'll be on your move anyways. And also just to spice things up, you can drop down your custom North Star and do a bait and new tactic, that kind of works depending on what type of titan you go up against. For a tip, I recommend you take on Scorch, Legion and Monarch if you have the chance, as both Scorch and Legion are quite slow, so they really have to work for the kill. And usually if they're up close against you, usually what they're trying to do is they'll try to either melee you or they'll try to use their special abilities or such just to try to get you down and then they'll try to execute you, execute you as best as possible. Also, Scorch and Monarch both like to get up close and try to get execution on you. So you really have to make them work for it. So I don't know how you want to play this out, but one thing you can potentially do is lure them into an area that is basically isolated from other people. Let them get you down the near health, then when the right time activates, then go ahead and activate your twin tethers, use your electric smoke to cover them so they don't know where they're going, get behind them, then activate your nuke. And if you do this perfectly, you basically got a free kill. If you don't do this perfectly, then you potentially, then you potentially got yourself killed, and you probably gave the other team member a free kill. It's a very 50-50 lid out that you have to play around with. And also, you really have to be aware of how you activate it as well, because the one thing I found is that if you use it indoors 
and you don't have like a rooftop or so say a sky top that allows you to get out into the open you will get killed by your own nuke and whether this is because you know exactly that you're going to get a number of kills or whether you know that you're going to mess up is entirely up to you but i know for a fact that if you don't plan out the area you're in and you know for a fact that there's a big group of enemies and you can't use your and there's no way for you to escape then be aware that in this case here you're probably going to die and if the enemy in any case does escape and they manage to damage you at least once a kill point will go to them so be aware of where you're going to activate it and just be and just be prepared for the worst now this loadout really is a breath of fresh air from the ARs and SMGs as you don't really see a lot of people use the EVA 8 or North Star with twin tethers and nuke. The EVA 8 part I can understand as it was slightly nerfed many months ago. Plus the Mozambique and Massive do a better job at killing others in close to medium ranges. While the EVA 8 you need to be quite close with it nowadays. So this in many ways has put many people off. And the North Star plus nuke tether combo is quite hard to pull off at times. But it is something you can achieve with a little bit of effort here and there. As long as you focus on the type of titans that are the ones that try to focus on getting in close to you, you could probably have a good time. If you go up against a Ronin player, then good luck with that because 9 times out of 10, it won't work. But I do like this loadout, like I said. It's something new to try out and it's something for you guys to try out as well and experiment every once in a while. So that is the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike. I understand, I'll look over the video, and I'll see what I need to improve on for the near future. So once again guys, thank you all for watching, and and one last thing, I have been thinking about uploading Warframe onto my channel. Now, although many of you here have stated to me that you would like me to do builds and classes and such based around Warframes, I'm not opposed to it, it's just at the moment I have a lot of videos that I want to upload. And I don't really want to start uploading Warframe and kind of get confused with what days are going to have specific videos because it's kind of an overkill for me to be uploading time for 2, Warframe and Destiny content all on one week and all on my channel plus it's kind of confusing for you guys to you know have a good grasp of what you'd like to watch but I do have an idea what I'm going to be going with my time for 2 series for loadouts is soon to be finished my plan is once time for 2 loadouts is completed I'm then going to make a major jump to Warframe to where from there I will then be uploading classes and loadouts for you guys to try out every once a week. That is my plan and that's what I'm going to be sticking with but at the current moment my series isn't done just yet there's still some loadouts I want to go ahead and do but once I am done with it completely or once I've basically got to a point where I've got nothing to upload I'll make the jump and go to Warframe and from that point then you guys can then tell me what type of builds or what type of classes you want me to go ahead and do. It might take me a bit of while to understand it because I haven't played it in a while, but I will then I'll genuinely get into it. So tell me what you think. Type in the comment section what you'd like to see. Would you like to see me do Warframe or would you like me to just stick with what I'm currently doing? So like always guys, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.